inside. Oh, oh trouble. Rhodes is turned around by Sindrick. Heavy contact in the 27 of Ben Rhodes and Matt Crafton involved as well. Austin Sindrick got into the back of the 27 of Ben Rhodes. Rhodes threw the block and Sindrick said, I'm here. We talked about intensity ramping up and guys getting desperate, making desperate moves. We said at the beginning of the night, Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm not sure if that was a, a desperate measure or if it's just drivers trying to protect their position and it led to some contact, but catastrophic for Ben Rhodes in that 2017. We talked about at the very top of the show what can happen. You never know till the end of the race. And I'd say right now that that's going to knock Ben Rhodes out of a, any opportunity for a, a playoff position and it puts Austin Cindric in. Wow. Wow. Veteran Matt Crafton talking to Rhodes. The red you see on the screen has come out, so they're going to stop the truck. So there's going to be a pretty significant cleanup involved here. Well, it makes you wonder now about if Rhodes would have stayed out. Well, that, yeah. have been in that, we wouldn't have been in that position to begin with. Hindsight's 20 20. Exactly. But, uh, let's watch the replays and see what happened. Watch the 19 and the 27. The 19 of Cindric goes low, and Cindric Rhodes came down a little bit to try to protect his position. Cindric got in the back end of him. Yeah, I think it was definitely a situation where Ben came down a little bit there to to try to block the advance of the 19. He had a great run and hard contact there with Matt Crafton. I mean, that's that's on the restart. I mean, Rhodes' truck came all the way off the ground. It's so. Hard. That just tells you how intense the speed is here at Phoenix. Those trucks just torn all to pieces. There's the block, there's the dive, and then the block. Look at that truck up in the air. And it's not over yet. Really fortunate that Austin Cindric got by. Unfortunately, Matt Crafton not nearly as fortunate. A couple of trucks behind this mess was the 13 of Cody Coffin. Let's see what he saw. Now, that was definitely a, a, a situation where Austin Cindric did not just go up there and move that 27 truck out of the way. He just nailed the start, Phil. Yeah, the restart was perfect. Look at the momentum he Never has touched there. Him right there. But now you see Ben fading to the left side there to try to stop that advance by the 19. He just wrote, excuse me, Cindric just had a perfect, perfect restart. Was past the start finish line, dove to the bottom of the racetrack. Rhodes reacted to the 19 truck diving to the bottom and drove lower, and the two trucks made contact. And that is the end of Ben Rhodes' championship hopes and his crew chief, Eddie Traconis, cannot hide the disappointment. The 27 team was in position leading up to that restart to advance to Miami, and here's the radio from Austin Sendrick. Was there any blocks? That's his fault. I can't believe he did that. Why would he block it? Why would he block that? The crew chief on the 27 is Eddie Traconis. He's with Caitlin. Hey, just stepping down off the pit box, Eddie, you've had a chance to watch the replay. What's your take on what happened there? Well, uh, we were better than them all night. Uh, we gave them the chance that, you know, they were behind our bumper and they took the cheap shot, you know. If they want to go race to Homestead like that, I mean, they're not going to make it lap one. Uh, this is the way they want to race. I mean, we raced them clean and we were better than them. We were better than them all year long. We deserve to be at Homestead. Uh, it sucks that, you know, obviously they're going to go. Uh, I believe NASCAR should park them. They should penalize them because they're going to hurt someone one of these days with these races. He did it uh, to Casgar in Montreal to try to get, get a win. He don't know how to race, and you know it's unfortunately, you know that it comes to these situations. We were better than them, and we were better than them all year long. We're a better team. Do you have any second thoughts about pitting? Maybe just thinking back on maybe staying out. Well, obviously, yeah. Well, obviously, we're going to have that conversation, you know, on Monday. That you know, if we would stay out, we would never have it on the bumper. But we got it to do what we got it to do, you know. Uh, he said he wanted to be on the same tires as the 19 in case he comes to a late restart, and we did. And we were going to clear the traffic, and we were going to drive away from them. We were way faster than them all night long. So 
it's a cheap shot from them. You know, they want to go like that. That's fine, you know. Uh, obviously, they're not going to go out clean to, in the home set. Thank you, Eddie. Well, certainly uh, frustrating comments for Medi Traconis. Sendrick, as you guys said, got a great restart, a terrific launch on that restart. And, and uh, Ben Rhodes trying to protect his position. You can't blame either one of them. I mean, Sendrick, Sendrick making the move and, and uh, Ben Rhodes protecting. Uh, do you think it was a cheap shot from, from I, I don't. I, I can't find any fault with, with what Austin Sendrick did. He had such a run of momentum. He was pulling up aside. And let's take another look at it. You see him, he pulls out, never touches Ben. And then Ben just pulls down a little bit, just, just wanted to just say, hey, I'm here, don't make the move. But Austin had already committed to the bottom, never backed off. And I, I just can't find fault with what Austin did. Michael, how about you? You know, we, we know, Phil, we've seen enough of these races. You understand that maybe the first half of the race you can get by with blocking a little bit. But when the when the uh, laps start to wind down, especially on a restart, we're within 20 to go. These guys are going to protect, they're going to fight, and they're not going to give up anything. And I think Austin Sendrick did a perfect job on that restart. He was right where he needed to be. He made the move to the bottom and then uh, the two trucks just came together when Rhodes reacted to what Cindric did and when Rhodes did react at that point Cindric has I mean it wasn't like Cindric could even do anything at that point I mean, sure he's he could, already committed to the spot to the space right yeah, I'm not sure he could have slammed on the brakes and avoided running into the 27 regardless and uh, there's always two sides to every issue and there's going to be two sides to every argument and if you're a Ben Rhodes supporter you're going to believe that uh, uh, Rhodes was was wrecked and if you're an Austin Sendrick supporter you're going to believe that Sendrick got a great restart and uh, di did what he had to do and was just in that position maybe if you're on either side of it I think as you guys have both said Sendrick just got a great restart and it was just racing uh, at that point point. and Vince I feel for Ben Rhodes and Absolutely. Eddie Traconis and that entire team what a great job they've they've done this year and I, 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 I wish that it would not have ended this way Let's see if we can talk to Austin Sendrick about that restart. Hey, Austin Sendrick, it's Michael Watcher from the Fox team. Do you copy? Yeah, 10-4, Michael. Well, I know you hate to see it happen like that. Uh, from your driver's seat, what did you see take place? Uh, I think it's almost an exact highlight reel we saw at Homestead last year in the Cup stuff. Um, I had a good run, went down to the inside, Ben went to block, and I was there. Um, I can't be pushed around because I know that was our, our chance to – our chance to get by him, he was faster than us all night. And, um, I had to hold my line, and unfortunately, went to block. I'm not sure that was his best decision, um, but it's unfortunate. I, I really hate to have it happen that way. Um, he was running a great race. We were trying the hardest, and uh, obviously nothing intentional there. I think you can clearly see I tried to get a run and held my ground, and that's kind of how it went. But it's unfortunate, but we got to keep our nose clean for the rest of the race and hopefully get these PKR guys to uh, run for a championship in the final year, final race. Okay, buddy. Thanks for talking to us. Yep, no worries. Well, and Austin Sendrick mentioning what happened in the Monster Energy Cup Series finale last year at Homestead between the uh, 22 of Joey Logano and, and the 19, the 19 of, Carl of, Carl of Carl Edwards. Just, I, I think it's amazing to me that kid recollects that that quickly, and he's right. It's just you remember how those those cars just dove down on the bottom of the racetrack going into one at Homestead and and some of them didn't make it and here's what happened Pagano was to the bottom of Carl Carl blocked and Joey said I can't let you do that to me they Carl racing for a championship right there and hard hard contact and unfortunately that's the last time we've seen Carl Edwards in a race car was was right there at Homestead last year boy that was a big hit and then Tonight, this was the scene here in the Camping World Truck Series. Michael, I'm not, I'm like you. I can't get over how hard and how much contact and much damage these trucks have. They, they barely got out of second gear on that restart. Well, Matt Crafton was involved in that incident as well. He's with Hermie. Yeah, Vince, the good news is the 88 has clinched his spot at Homestead. You just saw the replay of what happened on the restart that collected you. Your thoughts? Ah. Uh, just wrong place, wrong time. I told Ben, 19 better not finish Homestead. It's Matt Crafton, short and to the point. 
Well, they'll have a chance to look over the, the videotape and, and uh, understand exactly how that went down and and maybe they won't have a different look at it phil maybe they'll decide that that they don't like what happened there and they didn't think that was good clean racing but from where i sit it just looked like the 19 nailed the restart put himself in a position to grab a spot ben rhodes uh, you know you have two choices when someone blocks you you can either let them block you or you can you can hit them because they're blocking and uh this late in the race, you're probably not going to get many breaks, but just uh, you've got to give it up for Cindric nailing that restart. He put himself in a position to get aggressive and then and then was able to uh, slip by the crashing truck of Ben Rhodes. It's such a tough call, too, because whether or not uh you know, what, whether or not Cindric, who made that move at that point, can he do anything to even avoid the contact if he wanted to? I'm not sure he could. I'm not, I'm not sure that he could have backed his way out of there without making contact with, with a 27 of Ben Rhodes. I mean, I don't blame Cindric for going for it, and I can't blame Rhodes for trying to protect his spot. I mean, it, to me, I don't know how you assess blame, really, to either one of those guys. 